let's dive into the Indianapolis Colts, who went 7-9 and nine last year with Jacoby Brissett at quarterback. Um, offensive numbers were not good. They were pretty awful in the passing game. The rushing game was not bad, though. Obviously, Marlon Mack and, and that bunch. Uh, win total this year is 8.5. To go over is minus 135. To go under is plus 115. So they think it is significantly more likely that they will go over the 8.5. To win the division... They are your favorites to win the division at plus 120. Kind of surprised me. Uh, Frank Reich in his third season. Let's uh, let's go through the yards per play and all the stats and whatnot. Uh, yards per play, 5.2 on offense. That is good for number 24. So that was that was not great. Uh, defensive yards per play, 5.6. That was good for number 18. Again, eh, middle of the pack. Whatever. Turnover margin was number 12. That is one thing that Jacoby Brissett did not do is turn the football over. He only had six interceptions last year. Uh, that's that's not awful. Phillip Rivers coming in, I, does he make them a division favorite? Like, I I think I like him in this spot, and he and, and Reich have got some history together. But, man, you know, he, he threw 23 touchdowns and 20 interceptions last year. Like, that's a lot of interceptions. Uh, I don't know that it's going to improve drastically. I mean, obviously, he gets to play the Texans twice, so... I mean, that helps, but I don't know, man. The Jags twice. Yeah, that's okay. That's a valid point. Uh, but even then, I, th- I think the Jags have a pretty good secondary. I mean, we'll, we'll get to no, them they, here in a little no, bit. No, that, that team's done. Uh, they've got an average wide receiver core. Uh, they did draft Michael Pittman Jr. Uh, to come in. T.Y. Hilton didn't play well last year. Had the T.Y. Hilton played hurt last year. Yeah, he was hurt. Yeah, he, he only had, uh, what, 45 he's, receptions last he's, year. He's completely healthy. He's fine. He's had a great offseason. Uh, now I think he's a little banged up now, but it's just soft tissue. Stuff. He's just he's just trying to not work out because he's a veteran. He's been there forever. Paris Campbell is going to be fine. Paris Campbell is going to be good. Listen, uh, they brought I'm, in uh, DeForest I'm, Buckner. I'm I'm stopped. I'm just I'm I'm just stopping this now. This team's going 11 and five. This team's going to dominate this division. Frank Wright is an absolute. I'm going to use the big bad word real quick. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. I know viewers go down. I'm giving you a heads up. So good. Frank Wright's a motherfucking wizard. Okay, <laughs> this guy took Nick Foles in a trash ass offense team, and not only won a Super Bowl, but beat a team that did not punt the entire game. Okay. Yeah. He he the Eagles. What have they done since since Frank Wright has left? I'll give you the answer. Nothing. Nothing. They're the equivalency of the NCAA. They're just worthless. All right. I mean, they won the they're division com- last year. They're completely worthless. <laughs> oh, okay. How good was that? How good I mean, was nine that? And the seven, weakest division, I mean, weakest know. division the world's ever seen. Just trash. So anyway, <laughs> I'm telling you, Frank Wright is an absolute mastermind. The best years that uh Phil Brevers ever had, long time ago, he's a little long in the tooth, he's old, were with Frank Wright as an offensive coordinator in San Diego. Okay. They brought in Jonathan Taylor, him and Marlon Mack. They're going to run the football. This is probably the best offensive line in the league. Paris Campbell, Michael Pittman Jr., Taywa Hilton. This offense is going to roll. They are going to beat people up. They're not great on defense, but I think they're going to be good enough. I think they're going to get better on defense. I mean, they brought. I think they, they're going to get better on defense because, uh, because they're Buckner. going to sustain drives a lot longer. Yeah, I like Jacoby. Jacoby played most of the year hurt last year. Okay. This is the best offensive line Phillip Rivers has ever played behind in his entire life. He's been playing football for like 19 years, okay? And every offense he's had, offensive line, has been like a bottom three to bottom five offense, okay? This is the best he's ever had, and and he is about to make everybody pay. I, uh, I've i got him 9-7. and seven. Um, it's a, you, You're going way, way over the 8.5. 11-5. Uh, so, and five. Frank that. Wright. Frank Wright is they're loaded on offensive talent. And Frank Wright is an absolute wizard. Okay, okay. I've I've got them nine and seven. I mean, would it shock me to see ten and six, maybe even eleven and five? If uh, if Rivers doesn't throw the ball away, if he doesn't throw it to the wrong colored shirts, then yeah, why not? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna justify all those wrong colored shirts. They're playing from behind every game, and so he's making press passes and he's getting pressed while he's doing it constantly. That's why his interception rate was always so bad. If you watch the games and you watch the interceptions, yeah, they're bad throws. And he is being chased for his life, and he doesn't run very well. And they're behind. He's got to make a big play. They can't dink and dunk and matriculate the ball down the field. They got to score fast because 
because they they've sucked the entire game. Their defense has, has given up big play. He just played on bad teams. Those teams haven't been good in a while in San Diego. And then when they moved to LA, they've been even worse. I mean, other than two years ago, which I no, mean, they, even they, even two years ago, he he carried that team. Him and Keenan Allen carried that team. Okay, okay. a few players carried that team. Melvin yeah. Ingram and Joey Bosa had great year. Their secondary was trash that year. They're, like they had like seven big players that big, made plays. Everybody else was from a scrap heap. Uh, you might be right. I mean, they still That's went what, when like they played a four? professional I mean, football team. Like the Patriots, they got completely dismantled, okay? And they would have gotten dismantled had they played anybody else that had a real head football coach. But they went a long time without that. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. I understand where you're coming from. Um, I love this team. I love so, this Colts, team this you, you absolutely love, love the Colts. Love them. Um, let's move on. 